Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Stormworks video and welcome to part two of the F-16 fighter jet build series. In this episode, we're going to be adding the landing gear and testing it all out, touching up a few angles that I'm not happy with and then finishing off by giving the plane a lick of paint. But anyway guys, as always, I hope you'll enjoy. Let's get started. And here we are in the workbench. Now, just over here, I'll just quickly show you, we have the Australian Air Force logo, which I'm going to add onto this thing somewhere. I'm thinking either under here or maybe underneath the wings or something. We'll see how we go, but we're going to leave that till a little bit later on. But first of all, I'd like to start with the landing gear. So roughly about, oh, which block's that about? This one here will probably be fine. We'll go here. We're going to have our landing gear. So let's make a little bit of room for ourselves, something like this. Then we're going to put some pivots up in here. Now, I don't really... No, we might go like this, turn these around because we sort of need them to come forward and then fold in at the same time. So we'll do our best if that, see what I can come up with. Uh, let's turn that around like this, I think is how we want it. And then I suppose we're going to come down a couple of blocks. So if we go something like this and then we'll grab some of these wedges and we'll go like that. Yes, very good. Turn that around. We'll go like that. And then as far as wheels go, I don't think we're going to be able to fit suspension one in. So we'll just use some regular 3x3s, three I guess. Turn them around like that. Very good. Something like this. That's not too bad. Is that a little bit narrow? No, I think that's all right. And what we'll also do, we'll make them just a little bit bigger. If we go up to 1.25, what does that look like? That's, that's okay, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So let's leave it like this. Oh, good. Now, what I'm going to do, so they're nice and strong, we're going to put some hard point connectors in them. So let's go hard point. We'll grab one of these, turn that around like that. Perfect. Awesome. Then we'll grab some of these, some of the hard point bodies, turn them around, and they will click in just like that. Very good. So when they're deployed in this position, they'll be nice and solid, and then they'll unclick from them and fold up and go up into here somewhere. So maybe up in here, we'll make a little spot for the wheel to go in. That's kind of roughly where it will go, I suppose. If we grab a couple of wedges, turn them around this way. We'll go like that. Turn them around up oh, this way. We need to go like that. And one and two. Something just like this, I think, is what we want. And then, I don't know, because by the time they fold up, we might be able to fit in one of these as well. Kind of make it look just a little bit better if possible. How do I get that to go this way? Just like that, very good. Okie dokie, so let's leave it like that for now. Let's just actually very quickly put a little edge on it. So we're actually going to be able to come up all the way to here, I think. Is that going to work? That should do. So what we'll do to make sure this works, let's get out our Biza controllers, some of these ones. Now, we're not going to need two, I don't think. So we're just going to do this on the one side for the moment, and we'll get a toggle button as well, make sure this all works. I'll just chuck it right there, I suppose. Connect that up to that one. And now, what way do we need all these to move? What do we got? So we need to come positive to bring it up, and then positive to bring it in. Okay, so I think this is already on positive. So let's just connect this up and see what happens. Go boom, 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 just like that. All right, let's spawn that in and see what happens. What I might do, make sure infinity electricity is on. There we go. Good. Let's head over this way and see if they fold away. Let's have a look. Boink. Oh, nope. Something's something's definitely wrong there. Um, yeah. <laughs> let's go and have a look and see what we've done. Ah, uh, we forgot to connect up the release buttons. <laughs> so release and release. Let's try that again. Well, at least we know it's going to be solid down there. That's all right. Let's go and try it. Oh. That just fell through the floor. Fair enough, man. Anyway, let's push this button. There we go. That's pretty good. It hits on there, does it? All right, so we have to change that around a little bit. Everything else looks pretty good, though. Yes. All right, let's let them back down. Can we see exactly what that's hitting on? I might get rid of that top row of blocks. That might help. I just heard them click in. That's very good. All right, so what we'll do, we'll head back down all the way into here. Get rid of that. I think that was mainly causing the problem. Let's test that again. Ah, right. That's a little bit better. They fold right up in there now. Very good. So I just had to make the wheels a little bit smaller. Okay, that's pretty good. So they kind of flop around a bit and then they lock in. They're really solid now. So if we push that button, they fold right up in there. That's really good, actually. I like that. doesn't look like we're going to need any doors on there either. We just push the button. Out they come. Lock into place. Very good. So they'll be solid as. So I just had to put the wheels down to just the normal size they were, but that's all right. Okay, that seems to work really well. We might not muck around with that anymore. We might just leave it. I'm pretty happy with that, actually. Very good. All right, now, I'll just get rid of that. Actually, no, I'll leave it there for now, but we are going to get rid of that because that's obviously not where it's going to go. But for now, that will be A-OK. -okay. Now, we've got to do something about the front landing gear. So, we've got a little spot right there. Okay, so maybe we should go 
here-ish, or just back one more block. Maybe if we try and go in this area, I wonder if that will be... That should be fine if it's there. Now, I might come forward one more block up to there. That should be fine. Well, since we're here, I might quickly change this a little bit. Someone in the comments said to move this back one block, and I think I agree. So what we might do, get a couple of wedges. Uh, no, that's not going to work. We'll go like this, maybe. Put those like that. Yeah, I don't mind this at all, actually. Let's bring that up one more. And then what we might do, we'll get some paintable parts. If I could spell paint, that would be good. Paintable sign, I think, is what we want. Turn them around like this. Okay, that's not too bad. Now, we're going to try and draw some sort of intake. So, we'll see how we go with this. I might just do it in red for now so we can see what we're doing. So, we'll just go like this all the way along. And we're already up to leaving one, two, three on that side. Might do the same on that side like that. Uh, yeah, all right. So, I'll muck around for this and see what I can come up with. And then, I'll be back in a moment. All right, I think that looks pretty cool, actually. I quite like that. It looks a little bit better than what it did. So, yeah, we'll leave it like that for now. Anyway, let's get this front landing gear sorted. So, we're going to try and go in this area, aren't we? Okay, let's make a little area for ourselves. Might just get rid of some of this for now. The only thing is we need to save room for our cockpit. Obviously, I think we've got plenty of room for that. But the weapons, because we're going to have our weapons coming in here. Mm, all the storage for them. Okay, so we just got to keep that in mind. That's all. Uh, so, what we'll do, we'll get some pivots and we'll start this off. We'll grab a couple of these now. If I come down like this maybe except i might actually move that over one like that and then we're going to have the steering one come down like this good i don't think we're going to need two pivots we'll just get rid of that one we we'll just have one like that and i would like to have some sort of hard point on this somewhere as well i don't know how we're going to do that with the steering though that's all actually i've just had a much better idea what we're going to do we're going to come down with just a couple of blocks like this to about there i think we'll be fine let's get a wheel and we're just going to chuck one of these on instead and then just use that as a steering that will be a little bit better i think that is over way too far okay so what we're gonna have to do get rid of that one come over this way like that grab one of these ones put it on there that will work out a little bit better for us get rid of that one um is that going to be sitting at the right height i think it is now nah, it's definitely gonna have to come down at least one more so let's do that get rid of that one come down one two Put that in there, get rid of some of them for now. Grab a wheel and chuck it in here. That means we have to lower those rear ones as well. That's annoying. Uh, anyway, that's how it's going to have to be. So yeah, that, that looks a lot better actually. Good. So we'll get rid of that one. Now, what can we do to make that look just slightly better? Not much, I don't think. I think that's how it's going to have to be. Let's put a little wedge on the side. We can see what that looks like, I suppose. I don't think it's going to be very good though. Turn that around, go like... That nah, it's it's too much. I think I might just leave it like that. That doesn't look too bad. It's a bit off center, but anyway, it's fine. <laughs> so that will be our steering. So that means up here we can put a hard point on, which is good. So let's grab one of these, and then we'll turn it around so it's facing this way, and then we'll grab one of these ones and put it on the side like that. Good. So that is going to be its locked position. We'll grab a little wedge. We'll put it in this area here, like so. Very good. So that should lock down and be pretty solid, and we'll have a bit of steering still, which is really good actually. Very nice. That fits quite nicely. Now, we do need to fix up these rear ones now. How are we going to do that? Maybe if we just bring them down one more block and just move all this back, I suppose. I might do it with this tool here. Grab that whole little area like that and move it back one block like that's Good. Merge that all together. I missed a couple, didn't I? Yes, I did. <laughs> Perfect. Get rid of these ones and fix this one up. Go like that and go like that. Good. That should work, hopefully. We'll just fill that one in like so. Very good. So let's just quickly extend these while we're here. So what we could do, can I just grab that whole area? That would be much better. Yep, yeah, grab that, move it down one block and paste it like so. Good, grab this and no, not that one. Need a regular block, don't we? And then we'll merge all of that together. All right, so I'm just gonna do this to the other side and I'll be back in a moment. All right, so that should be all fixed up now. I don't see why that wouldn't work, but we will test it out once more just in case. Now, let's just fill in a little bit around the front landing gear here. We'll turn that around like so. Very good. That one, the same on this side. I need to put that piece back in like this. Some symmetry going. That is a lot better. Good. So that way, the wheel will come all the way up. So I think we can fill that in there as well. And then the rest of it, we're going to have to leave for the opening for the actual wheel itself. So maybe we could grab a little wedge, chuck it in along there. And that will make the wheel look a little bit more tidy. Maybe we'll leave it like that for now. And we'll see now, actually, this whole side here can be completely filled in. So we don't need that there, do we? No, so we're just going to have a little opening like that. Okay, let's um, let's go with that and see how it works. So let's connect that up now. Which way is that facing? 
So that's going to be on the positive side as well. Good. So we can just run it all off the one controller, which is really handy, actually. Go like that. And then we also need to put the release button on too. Okay, okay. Let's go and give that a test. All right. We'll push the button and everything is put away. Look at that. Amazing. Awesome. That wheel is stuck up in there. Perfect. Now, I wonder if we can put another block in here, maybe. I'm sure we could. Uh, let's have a look. Go boink. Look at that, everything locks in place. Amazing, that should be pretty strong landing gear actually. I like it, very good. Now that is in, we could probably move these wedges forward one more and put one more block in here. Let's go and try that. Okie dokie, so I've moved these forward two, put a wedge in there and put one more wedge on the actual landing gear there. So let's push that button and see if the front goes away. And yes, it does, look at that, all fits in there perfectly. And the rear still work properly. They don't stick up on the top at all. Let's just go and make sure because they are coming up pretty high. Nah, that should be all good. Very nice. That works really well, actually. I'm pretty happy with that. And everything locks into place. Perfect. Okie dokie. So now that we've got that out of the way, what I wanted to do next was actually shorten the nose of the plane by maybe one block. I think this little spot here makes it look a little bit funny. So we're going to get rid of that whole piece like that. Put this on both sides. Uh, so let's grab the nose of the plane. All of this, please. Thank you very much. The top and down there. Very good. So let's move it and bring it back to there. Good, merge it together just like that. I think that looks a little bit better actually. I'm pretty happy with that. It probably is one block too short on the model, but I'm pretty happy with it. I think we'll leave it like that. And it looks like it's got a little aerial on the front over there. So what we could do, what are they called, an antenna? Just radio you have to look up apparently. So we're going to need a medium one. How big's a medium if we stuck that on the front? Yeah, that could be all right. Let's get rid of that block and chuck that right there. That looks pretty cool. I'm happy with it. Now, next up, I'd like to fix up the wings a little bit. So I think we might square off the back like that. That's a little bit better than we have our control surfaces sitting in there. Leave it like that for now. So I think that button can just go for the moment. Actually, it's in the way for what we're going to do. So what we're going to do, we're going to get rid of this one and we're going to start replacing it with some angled parts instead and see if that looks just a little bit better. So we're going to go like this, get rid of that one. And we're going to put another one of these here. So we'll get rid of these. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And I think that one can stay. So we'll go like that. All right, let's keep on going with this. Get rid of this one. Two, three, four. Good. Grab one of these. And we're going to chuck that in right there. Very nice. Turn that around and boink. Perfect. Grab a little wedge and set it in this area just like that. Okay, that is sticking over the edge just there, isn't it? Uh, okay, that's going to be a problem. What is even going on with this area? Anyway, I might just get rid of some of this. Let's fix this up a little bit while we're here. Uh, or actually, that's not too bad if we have it like that, is it? Hmm, what we could probably do, let's get a 2x4, turn that around and put it on there. Yeah, something like that. Let's get a 1x2, turn that around like this and doink. Uh, no, that looks absolutely horrible. Why is there such a big point here? Let's get rid of this and try and fix it up a little bit. All right, so that's sort of the best I could come up with. I'm hoping that when you paint it, that isn't going to look as bad. Um, off camera, I think I might muck around with it and see if I can get it looking a little bit better. But for now, that is how it's going to be. Now, what I want to do, I want to try and fix up these wings a little bit, see if I can make them look just a little bit better. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab some of these, turn them around like that. I'm going to just start dragging it all the way up. So a lot of this can go just for now at least. Go up to here. Very good. And then we've got this funny little angle up here, don't we? So let's try and sort this out. Get rid of these ones and there. Good. So let's chuck this one there. And we're going to need some one by two. So we'll turn that around this way. Drag it up to about here. Fix this little area up like that. Good. And then we're going to chuck this one right there. Nice. And then I suppose on the edge of the wing can just be some wedges, I think. Or should we square it off maybe? Um, I think I might square it off. Might look just a little bit better. I might use a one by two for that. Let's see what that looks like. Mm, I might actually use that one by one, I think. So let's grab one of them, turn that around like that. Good, and that way we can put a hard point on the end and have a little missile on the wing, which would be pretty cool. So we'll leave it like that for now, and we just got to fill in the actual wing itself, just like that. Good, I think that looks a little bit better, actually. I like that. Let's do the same with these rear ones, so all of this can go. Uh, I might just get rid of that whole bit for now. Uh, wait, where'd that start, actually? <laughs> okay, right there where that one by two is. Okay, so let's just do that again, get rid of all of that. Good, we're going to need one of these ones. So we'll chuck that right here, I suppose, and we'll drag that up to there. Good, and then we'll do the same thing. Chuck one of these like that, and then we'll just fill that in like nothing happened. There's a piece under there, isn't there? Good, all right. 
That is looking pretty good. I'm very happy with this so far. Now, this little Air Force kangaroo thingamajiggly, let's chuck this somewhere. I think what we'll do, we're going to put it under here. I just noticed there's some blocks missing from right here, actually. Let's just fill that in like that. Good, that's a little bit better. Very nice. Okay, yeah, so this piece here, let's grab it. Let's get rid of that. No, we don't need that anymore. Bye, and grab this one. Move it, and we're going to flip it up this way. Now, which way is that kangaroo facing? That is the correct way, I think. Let's go and drag it over here. Come over, and then we'll come down into here. That's a pretty good spot right there, actually. Oh, I don't mind that. Let's move back, actually, one. Yeah, let's put it right there. So you look up at the plane, you can see the um, kangaroo. That's pretty good. Paste it, and we'll merge it in. Yep, yeah, very cool. Nice. I think we might put some more little bits and pieces on it, maybe like an Australian flag up on the rudder up here, maybe, or maybe underneath the wings. We'll see how we go. And I'd also like to put a number on it, maybe like over here, or maybe you can say F-16 or something. I'm not too sure. You let me know where you want me to put there. They're pretty good. Uh, but anyway, let's give this thing a quick lick of paint. So I don't know. I think I might kind of make up my own paint job. Something that still looks kind of military, but sort of my own touch to it as well. So I'm going to do that and I'll be back in just a moment. Alrighty, guys. So that is what I've come up with. I'm pretty happy with it, I think. Um, <laughs> I've painted the whole canopy black, so it sort of looks close to the real one. But, you know, it is Stormworks. That's the best I can do it anyway. So we're going to leave it like that. I've also put some lines on the wings here, some paintable blocks that matches the angle of the wing, which looks pretty good, actually. I'm pretty happy with it. And we have the line going all the way to the back and then around where the engine will be. So that looks pretty good. And I've painted under here as much as I can for the moment. We just need to save a bit of room to put the weapons and the engine and whatnot. So we're going to leave it like that for now. Now, two more things I want to do today is one of them, I want to move this. So let's grab that. And I think we're just going to chuck it. Uh, we'll just put it down here out of the way for now so we can't see it. Paste, and we'll just merge that with that. Very good. So we get out of that one. And the next thing I want to do is get rid of all of this. I don't think we're going to need it anymore. No, I think that'll be it. So bye-bye. And then we've got to get rid of the one at the back here. Just be careful of our rudder. So let's just go to here. Get rid of these couple here. And come up to there. Good. And then we just got one more to get rid of up here, apparently. Very nice. Now, we did miss a little block just there. Oh, dearie me. Not like that. <laughs> just like that. Awesome. So, yeah, like I said, next episode, we're going to put the engine in. It's not looking very round there, is it? Uh, it should be right. It should be fine. Um, yeah, so engine's going to go in. And then after that, we're going to put some weapons in the front here. Should be pretty cool. I'm thinking we might have a big gun that will come off the side and point out to the front, like a rotary cannon, are they called? Let's have a look. Yeah, one of these ones. Something like... This, let's have a little look, sticking off the front, uh, something like that. Only one, though, not not two, so just one on one side. Then we're going to have the little weapon tracks coming along in here and have all the storage in here, should be pretty cool, and then have the engine at the back, which should be pretty nice. But anyway, let's save this and spawn it in and see what it looks like. And here it is. That looks really cool. I'm very happy with that. Nice. Awesome. Got a little aerial sticking out on the front there. Nice. Got a kangaroo under here. Got our new intake. Looks very fancy. Got a nice cockpit up there. Very good. We also need to add some control surfaces on the rear here, on our wings, and a few other bits and pieces, and eventually add some weapons on the sides of the wings here, a few underneath, and then one big mama uh, missile in the middle right here. Should be pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, guys, that's going to do us for today. Like I said, next episode, we're going to add the jet engine and hopefully have it turning on. That'd be pretty good. But anyway, I'd like to say thank you all very much for watching, and I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video.